Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, properly check a vehicle's cooling system for leaks. So uh, let's get started. We're going to be checking the cooling system on this 2010 F-150 with a 4.63 valve in it. Um, today we're going to be using this Madex cooling system pressure testing kit. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick up one of these. Um, so obviously, for one, you need to have coolant in your vehicle. You need to have coolant in there. You're going to choose an adapter that is same size and design as your cap. Twist it, fit it on, make sure it's on there like it's supposed to be. Then you're going to want to look at your cap. See where it says 16 PSI? We do not want to pressure test this over 16 PSI, so probably a couple PSI below that. Next, get the actual gauge uh, slash pump. All right, see how it's uh, got that mechanism in there? You wanna rotate it till it is up on top of here on the other side. I can't let it one-handed, so I'll show you. Just like that. That way it takes some pressure off of it. You can easily line it up and rotate it, turn it on, and then you slip that to where now there's spring pressure on it. All right, so you can see here, we have different uh, markings and ratings. The white area is 15 to 16 PSI. We'll probably go to the top of the blue area. So I'm going to pump this up real quick. All right, you can see there we're in the blue. We're all hooked up properly. I'm gonna sit it down carefully so you don't bother the needle. And uh, in my case, I'm going to wait a couple hours and uh, come back and you can check it again. And uh, we'll see what's going on, how much is slick down, if at all. All right, it's been roughly an hour, so now we're gonna go back and check on our pressure gauge. All right, as you can see, it has not moved at all. So we do not have certainly no significant leaks on this uh, vehicle, probably none at all. Um, so that is a good pass on this uh, pressure test for this cooling system. Uh, for removing it, you just turn that up there to take some pressure off of it, off the spring. Slowly remove that. It's actually not hot, it's just got uh, a lot of pressure on it. And there you have it. That is how you properly pressure test a cooling system on most vehicles. Um, comes with enough adapters to test a wide variety of vehicles. Um, and you can also get adapter kits that come with different ones that you can have that are universal uh, to go with it. So uh, that'll be the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something uh, out of this video.